Boom. Good evening, everybody. It's your boy, Big Dre, coming at you uh, with another quick episode of 10-Minute uh, Tips. Uh, basically, what we do here is just a quick uh, 10 minutes of uh, tips about the foreign exchange market with the idea of, of hopefully showing people that uh, this market isn't nearly as scary as it looks. Um, and that it is uh, a viable option for people to take advantage of if they so desire. And it's something that uh, they could do um, on their own uh, in terms of uh, a way to uh, increase wealth for their household. And so uh, one of the things I want to talk to you about today is the topic of uh, binary options. And so what we do with this series is basically we're giving you just an overview of uh, a specific topic within the Forex field. And we're literally uh, sort of directing you guys back to uh, an educational platform that I personally use in order to learn uh, about this market. So for me, I had no idea any of this stuff existed. And so I was a complete rookie when I got started uh, with this. And, uh, and now um, I've been doing this for, for about two years now, coming up on two years uh, in November. And so, um, you know, it's been a, a pleasant journey for me. So I, I felt like, hey, listen, I've gotten a lot of value out of this. I should definitely share it. So if uh, this is uh, your first time here, please let me know. Please feel free to go ahead and comment if you'd like. Um, and uh, just sort of just say hi so that we can uh, recognize you and let you know um, because uh, we have a lot of fun doing this. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, 10 minute Forex tips. We're going to talk about binary options. What I'm going to do real quick is share my screen. There's been a lot of talk about this particular uh, topic and, and we like to call it um, not just binary options. We actually call it a uh, high frequency Forex in our academy. And so here's what I want to basically be able to show you is that normally in a Forex pair, you have the market moving sort of uh, up and down in some motions like this right and over here on your chart is sort of a scale if you will it's a scale and the scale has what we call a pip total so if if right here let's just say this moment in time right here if we drew that across to the scale it might say on a currency pair like gold british pound japanese yen or gj it might say uh 140 4.00. Sorry, that's not great numbers, but you get the point. 144.00. And if we felt that the market was going to go up, we would set a trade it with the intention of price going up. So we would go in for a buy. Because we're going in for a buy, we would set below our entry price, which is right here. This is our entry price, our entry point, entry price, EP. We would set what's called a stop loss. So in this case, let's say we set that stop loss at uh, 143.70, which would be 30 pips. Okay, zero, zero, okay? Okay, so we would set a 30 pip stop loss. Then we had set a TP up here. Let's say we wanted to set it uh, um, for uh, 144 point, sorry, this should also be zero, 144 point, uh, one point one oh oh right? Or 010, whatever. Okay, we set our TP up there. So we're expecting price to be able to go up, okay? We're expecting price to go up. And this journey of price going to that point could take anywhere from 10 seconds to five hours. We don't know, okay? So in a normal Forex pair, our goal is a PIP goal. And it's based on units of PIP, movements in the market based on PIPs. What makes Forex special, as we go ahead and clear this, is that we're actually doing something different. You still have the market moving, in its normal way, but when we think that price is going to go up, we enter what's called a strike price, a strike point, a strike price. Okay. And when you hit that strike price, you also then, instead of having a pip goal, you have a time goal, let's say one minute. So within the course of one minute, all price has to do is just barely eke above that line 
And if it does so, and at the end of one minute, when your time expires, if price is above, you win the trade. If price is below, you lose the trade. And if price is even, it's a push. So what's really cool about that is that that allows you, right, to be in a position where it's easy to judge the amount of time that you're in the market because you know how long you're taking a trade. What is this for? You know how long you're taking a trade, okay? And so that's uh, really cool. So let me show you a, a kind of an example of an actual uh, binary options uh, account and how that kind of looks. So what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go to a demo account. I like to use this site for demo accounts. We might've talked about that before, I don't know. It's called Pocket Option. The reason is, is because you can get a demo account for free. You can just top it off and you can end up uh, going up to 100 all the way up to, uh, if you wanted to, you could uh, demo account. Let's see here. We could begin to, uh, let's see. I'm going to start the way. You can top up your demo account. So as you add money to it, you can add uh, up to $10,000 and all of a sudden your demo account should be topped off. Actually, it's gone a little higher. It's gone to 11,000. So it allows you to top it off and now you can begin to practice trading. And so you see here, again, with the binary options real quick, you see here that you have a, a, a purchase time, purchase time, which is located on this particular account, on this particular options broker. You see it says purchase time right here. You see that it says M3 which means that that would be the amount of time that I would be putting the trade in. So it'd be a three minute trade. You can also change the total that you want to trade and the amount. And then you have the option to go in for a buy or you have the option to go in for a sell, depending on what you want to do. I also like this particular broker as a learning experience because it allows you to trade a variety of different things, but also it allows you to put your normal tools like your Bollinger Band, your moving averages, things like that right on your screen to help you as you begin to practice. You can even come in here and draw things like support and resistance lines in order to help you make a decision on whether or not you want to be in the market. So let's just use an example right now. We're in the market right now. If we decided we wanted to go in for a sell, all we would have to do is we would hit the sell button and we would notice that it gave us a strike price, okay? In this case, we would be in this trade for three minutes. Let's actually take it down one because I don't want to go that long. Let's go ahead for another sell. It's going to give us another strike price. And in that case, we're going to be in that uh, particular trade for one minute. And so if we lose this trade, again, no analysis was done. If this trade was to be lost, we would lose the total amount that we invested and that's it. And so there's no uh, worrying about uh, account balances, right? Because you should be trading one to 2% of your account. That's easy to calculate. You go on and put that trade in there and you don't have to worry about blowing your accounts, right? So I really love this for that purpose. The other thing is, is we are trading now on the weekend, okay? And so we're trading gold. You also have the option to come here and you could trade silver, you could trade commodities, you could trade other currencies. Okay, so you could trade, this is over the counter, this is what the banks are doing over the weekend in terms of trading money, you can get in there and trade. And you also notice that it gives you a percentage and that is gonna be your payout if the trade hits. So if you uh, risked $1 and you won, you would win 80 cents, okay? If you risked $10 and you won the trade, you would make $8, okay? And so on and so forth. So really cool. Uh, the other thing you can do over here is you can also trade stocks. Okay, so this is similar to those people who are using um, sort of a Robinhood app or things of that nature, except they're doing fractional stock ownership with the hope that the stock will rise in value. But here you can literally come over here and you could trade Apple uh, and you could begin to make money and profit off Apple. Let's just say I decided to go in for a buy on Apple and my uh, trade went into profit in the end of one minute and all of a sudden I was able to win that trade I could actually make money on the Apple stock immediately and not have to wait for the, the longer haul for that stock to double or triple in value. And so I can begin to increase my wealth off of stocks right now through binary options and then take that money and actually buy stocks when they're low because I can understand how to read these charts because I learned it in the academy. So really cool, just different options in terms of wealth creation tools that you can use in order to jump in the market and become successful. 
So it looks like right now you can see this is tracking an open trade right here on our demo account. We lost the first trade. Looks like this trade will probably lose, but then we have the opportunity to win this trade here. And so again, all of these trades were taken with no analysis just to show you the functionality of how um, uh, this particular broker and how kind of in general uh, binary options uh, works and feels. So it's really cool. I'm really excited about this particular way of trading. It's a much easier way for a new person to learn how to trade because you don't have to immediately assess, uh, you know, stop loss versus your pips. Uh, you don't have to, to do risk to reward ratios, account balance. You don't have to do all that stuff. All you have to be able to do is figure out essentially what 1% of your account balance is, and then you can put in a trade. And as long as your, your, your uh, trade is paying out, that trade won, okay? As long as your trade is paying out, you want it to pay out somewhere over 70%, we generally shoot for 80% or above, then you have the opportunity to be able to go in and be in profit, okay? So it's pretty, pretty exciting. I like, uh, love this uh, form of trading. It's definitely uh, worth it. Um, and it's definitely worth taking the time to learn it. We have some of the best options traders, in my opinion, in the world, binary options traders. We got Ness Vasquez, we got Matty Pips, uh, we got Millie Mills, we got all kinds of people, Evan Cabral, in our academy teaching you how to trade this particular style. And the other thing I like about it is it en enables you to really sit down and be able to put together sort of not only a, a comprehensive trading plan, but it also enables you to set a particular trading time. So what I have found in my two years of trading, if I can give you the biggest nugget of all, is one, most people don't have a trading plan. And number two, most people are in the market too long and that they over trade. And because they over trade, their, their accounts are going fluctuating like this. And so what this allows you to do is say, hey, listen, I'm gonna sit down for an hour period of time, a 30 minute period of time, and I'm going to look for a few trade setups. And then I'm gonna be able to take a few, just a handful, maybe two to four trades per day. And that's gonna be able to grow my account in a successful manner. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I hope you guys uh, see some value in it and I uh, hope you guys got some, some value. And just in terms of what binary options are, again, it is time-based, not pip count, okay? So you can go in, you can trade for one minute, three minute, five minute, uh, 10 minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, hour. You can go ahead and trade for as long as you want all the way up to a day uh, trade on binary options but it is a time-based uh, a trade opportunity. And when you couple that with some of the incredible products that we have on the side in the Academy of HFX that help you identify trade opportunities with as, as, as little as a down arrow for a sell and an up arrow for a buy that can get you in the market and get you highly profitable, it's the easiest way, in my opinion, for people to learn. So um, I love it. I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys got some, some value from this. Um, but we're going to be done with that. That is going to be binary options tonight. A simple, simple process. Um, and uh, maybe in the future, we'll go into some more of the settings and different things of that nature. But uh, we are done for now. Uh, look forward to um, our next session together. Let me see real quick. Check the comments. Boom. There you go. Man, Tyler, I agree, bro. You have, you've grown so much in three weeks. You have grown so much, so fast, bro. I'm proud of you and what you've been able to accomplish so far. And of course, Jiz, you're absolutely right. You can actually go in there and take the stocks. You can do the same thing when you trade crypto, by the way, also. For those of you who are holding Bitcoin and just waiting for it to go up, all the price fluctuations, you could be trading and making profit. So with that being said, uh, we look forward to hearing from you guys. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you for your time. This has been another episode of 10 Minute Tips. Uh, and a great folks.